If you're looking to buy some cheap and reliable coins, make sure you check out NHL Coin Market link in the description. Just go to TaxDet checkout for 5% off. How's it going, guys? Tax HD, I'm with 82 my HL15. Talking about the Team Rogue Legacy series. If you guys did forget, I'm actually in Division 2 now, so we're trying to make it back into Division 1. We are some sold items, just basically all kinds of cards I've gotten from packs, uh, and just kind of leftover cards, going through the collection, basically selling anything i don't really need so as you guys can see i've also got some contracts there i see a lot of people quick selling their contracts it's not worth it guys you only get like 40 coins i think for the regular gold contracts and you can usually sell them for five or six hundred by now so i post like a player who you can quick sell for 300 he'd only sell for say 500 uh the contracts you're giving away like way more coins you're losing like 500 opposed to only 200 coins so definitely do not sell your uh, quick sell your contracts definitely you want to be selling those or just holding on to them if you don't have the space like i said i think it's better to just quick sell a player as uh, you'll be making more profit from your contracts. But anyway, guys, in this first game here, you can see we're already down 3 1. Really, my good start of this division, too. This guy was actually a very good player. As you can see, though, he basically only used the same goal on me, just that wrister that he kept sniping on me. And as you can see, that was his fifth goal there, making a 5 1. He actually ended up going on to beat me 7 1. We got absolutely pumped. I think like six of the seven of his goals were all just the pullback wrister. So, really got to work on my defense and stopping that. I know you guys are always saying I got to play better defense. It's uh, one of the things I definitely have to work on right there. You can see another guy doing it, and that was from far out. Like, I don't know how they're sniping it from that far out, but I guess I'm just going to challenge them, uh, you know, as soon as they get past that, you know, top of the circle there. Right there, though, we're able to answer back, tie the game up at one apiece. He's going to put another one, though, in, in the second period, making it 2-1. So, playing catch up again. Crosby, really nice pass over there to Helm. Put in the back door. That was on the penalty kill. Makes it 2-2. I said before, Helm's just a beast on the penalty kill. And then right there, Crosby again with the overtime game winner. So I think Crosby had a couple points in that game. He's been playing really good for me. I think I'm going to have a Crosby review out pretty soon. And just giving you guys all my thoughts on him. Obviously, I've only had him for like a couple weeks. Trying to play as many games as I can with him. Uh, just, you know, get a really good idea of is Crosby the best player in HOT, or at least for base cards. This next game here, guys, you can see it's our third game. Uh, he actually legged out in the first period, so finally the connection was uh, on my side, opposed to me legging out. He legged out, so even though it was 0-0, I got the win for that. So uh, we're now 2-1 here, start off Division 2, which isn't too bad. Going against Young X2, and I think that guy's name was in this next game. Right there, you can see we got a goal from Pavel Burry. If you guys missed it, I had a uh, favorite player's team build. That's the team I've been using uh, the last couple games here. I think I used them for, like, seven or eight games this season so i didn't use them quite for this whole episode but you'll see them in the majority of the games right there lindstrom's going right over the top of that goalie really like that goal lindstrom's honestly been just a beast for me on the back end i was bought him for the team build and i expected to sell him but he's been so good i actually kept him in place of ryan mcdonough and i'll probably you know keep him until he stops playing good for me which hasn't happened yet right there guys another big win winning three one so three and one now to start this season like i said going off got off to a pretty good start after that first game this next game here going up against vip something his name was Right there is a really bad goal. Like, I don't know how that gets in on the backhand. Like, really, he's got to be covering that post. But luckily, answer back there. Burry again. Burry's a sniper. I think he had, like, all his points were goals. Maybe he had one assist in the seven games I played with him. But this game here, unfortunately, lose 2 1. So we're now 3 and 2 in the first five games, which isn't too bad. Obviously, um, going 3 and 2 in the next five games won't give us promotion. But at least, you know, we won't be relegated to Division 3, which would be absolutely awful. So if we can get one extra point out of that. Uh, if we can do one point better in these next five games, we'll get the promotion. As you guys can see, this next game here, kind of fluky one to start it off there in the first period. He gave us the one goal lead. That was actually on the penalty kill. And right here, Duchesne, just going to pop it out front to Burry. Snipes in the back of the net. Makes it a 2-0 game. That's still in the first. Now here, beginning the second, 5-on-3, Burry again. This goalie, uh, this guy was actually doing the user control goalie. I have no idea why. So, he's got his computer playing offense for them. They ended up getting a fluky goal there on Jimmy Howard. I have no idea how that went in. But then right there, cross crease on him. He actually played decent i'm gonna say uh for playing goalie the entire time like he made some pretty good stops that the computer probably wouldn't have made but as you can see right here is the goal that uh the computer probably would have stopped that was able to score with crosby there so we're just kind of going off on him crosby gets another one there right back to back so i think with the final score that one was six to one and like i said he was you know pretty good considering he was playing goalie but i don't know if he messed up he meant to do it either way we get the win which is um Big win there. So now, guys, we're going up against Jimbo and 9212, I think his name was. Looking for back to back wins here. If we get this win, I think we'll just be two points out of a promotion, something like that. So we'll be really close to promotion if we can pull out a win here. Unfortunately, down 2 nothing in the third period. He's a third one there, pretty much putting us out of a possible comeback. Right there's a 4 on 4. He's going to get another goal there with Hawk Poso, making it 4 nothing. So uh, pending like a Maple Leafs -like light collapse on his part. We are coming back in this game, and as you can see, it's another one there, making it 5 nothing. But a minute to go here, Crosby's going to take the puck all the way up the ice, try to make it so we don't get shut out. Deeks on the goalie, gets a goal, but unfortunately, in one minute left, we aren't going to score four goals. So, lost that game 5-1. So, we're now 4-3, and three, I believe, on the season. So, we got three games left, and we have to win 
I think we need to get a win and an overtime loss within the next three games uh, for the promotion. So, you know, it's a good chance of that happening, but it's not for sure. Unfortunately, this game here going down early, one nothing. Luckily, Duchesne's there to tie it up with the power play goal there. And as you can see, it was waved off originally, but it counted. So we're 1-1 here. Helmgate on the on the breakaway gets a goal. That was actually on the power play, I think. So 2-1 uh, game now. Still in the first period. A little backdoor action here from McDavid. Puts it in the back of the net. Makes it 3-1 right here. Bray just teaks by that defender. Makes him look silly before sniping a bar down. Making it a 4-1 game. So big win there for us. As you can see, he ended up quitting. So like I said, guys, I think there's two games left now. And we have to get... Um, I think we have to win one and overtime loss one. Yeah, in these next two games, I believe. I might be wrong in that. I've, I've lost count kind of what we need to do, but I know we can't afford to lose one of these next two games. So right here, really nice uh, spin ram across, crease to dry cell, tying up one apiece. Third period here, the game was close. Unfortunately, gets that goal there, making it 2-1. Then eight seconds left. I was pinching hard trying to tie the game. He's going to put in that one there, making it 3-1. And that was actually the last game of this season. Unfortunately, just now we don't have games left to uh, get promotion. I think we won the last game. Well, if there was like one game left, we would have won it. We would have been one point short. So just short there of the promotion for Division 2. But obviously, it could have been worse. Could have went back down to Division 3. That would have been disgusting. So we're going to try again Division 2. Try to get back in Division 1 in the next episode. Hopefully, we can get back there. Finally win this Division 1 title. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you got a thumbs up. Should have one video, maybe two out for you guys later today. Unless it's like a really late night, uh, late episode. Uh, on Sunday night here, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Goodbye.